Welcome to the Buddhism Guide podcast. I'm Yeshi Rabge, and this episode is called Navigating Family Relationships. This podcast is free and independent due to member support, and I'd like to thank everybody that has supported the show. If you're interested in supporting my work, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Buddhism Guide. And if you'd like to see more of my content, please visit yeshirabge.com. So in this episode, I'll be talking about family relationships, how to build trust and connection, even when it's a toxic relationship. So let's get started. Family relationships can be both rewarding and challenging. They are essential to our emotional well-being. But misunderstandings and conflicts can arise. Navigating these relationships requires effort, understanding and communication. In this podcast, we'll explore how to build trust and connection, work through toxic relationships, resolve problems and appreciate others' needs while maintaining our own. So let's start by looking at building trust and connection. Building trust in family relationships is the foundation for a strong bond. So here are some practical steps to foster trust and connection. 1. Open communication. One of the most effective ways to build trust is through open communication. Sharing your thoughts and feelings honestly helps others understand you better. For example... If you feel overwhelmed with family responsibilities, express this to your family members. Instead of hiding your feelings, say, I've been feeling stressed and can use some help. This honesty invites support and understanding. I must say that my family struggled to express their emotions, except for anger. As a result, Situations often escalated until they reached a breaking point. By that time, it was usually too late to resolve the issues. 2. Active listening Listening is just as important as speaking. When a family member shares their feelings or concerns, give them your full attention. Show that you care by nodding, maintaining eye contact and asking follow-up questions. For instance, if your siblings is upset about work issues, you might say, that sounds really tough. What do you think you'll do next? This shows you value their feelings and are there to support them. 3. Quality time together. Spending quality time together strengthens family bonds. This could be as simple as having dinner together, playing a board game or going for a walk. These moments allow you to connect and create shared emotions. For example, you could plan a family movie night where everyone picks their favourite film. This not only brings joy, but also fosters a sense of belonging. Now let's look at how we can work with toxic relationships. So not all family relationships are healthy, we know that. And sometimes you may encounter toxic dynamics that drain your energy. So here are a few things that can help you handle that. 1. Recognise toxic behaviour. The first step is to identify toxic behaviour. This might include constant criticism, manipulation, gaslighting, or emotional abuse. For example, if a family member frequently belittles your achievements, it's essential to recognise that this is unhealthy. 2. Set boundaries. Once you identify toxic behaviour, set boundaries. Setting boundaries is crucial. Let the person know what is unacceptable. You might say, I appreciate your concern, but I need you to stop criticising my choices. Setting boundaries protects your emotional well-being 
and communicates that you will not tolerate harmful behaviour. 3. Limit interaction. In some cases, you may need to limit interaction with toxic family members. This doesn't mean you stop caring about them, but you prioritise your mental health. You could decide to only see them during family gatherings and keep conversations brief. This way, you maintain a connection without compromising your well-being. Now let's look at resolving problems. Conflicts are a natural part of family relationships. So here are some steps to help resolve issues effectively. 1. Stay calm. When a disagreement arises, try to remain calm. Reacting impulsively can escalate the situation. Take a deep breath and give yourself a moment before responding. For instance, if you and your partner are arguing about household chores, take a break to cool down before discussing it again. 2. Use I statements. When discussing your feelings, use I statements to express yourself without blaming others. So, for example, instead of saying, you never listen to me, try saying, I feel unheard when you interrupt me. This approach encourages a more productive conversation. And three, find common ground. Look for areas where you can agree. This might involve compromising or brainstorming solutions together. So, for example, if siblings disagree on how to celebrate a family event, they might agree to alternate planning duties each year. This fosters teamwork and reduces tension. And finally, let's look at spotting and appreciating others' needs. Understanding and appreciating others' needs in a family setting is important, but it should not come at the expense of your own needs. So here's how to balance both. 1. Observe and listen. Pay attention to your family member's behaviour and words. If a family member seems withdrawn, they might need more quality time or support. Ask them how they're feeling and what they need. For example, if your parent seems stressed, you might say, I notice you've been busy lately. Is there anything I can do to help? 2. Communicate your needs. While it's essential to recognise others' needs, you should also communicate your own. Share what you need from your family. For instance, if you feel overwhelmed and need alone time, Express that by saying, I love spending time with you all, but I just need some quality time on my own to recharge. And three, practice empathy. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. When a family member expresses their needs, try to put yourself in their shoes. So for example, if your sibling is anxious about their job, Acknowledge their feelings by saying, I can see why you're worried. That sounds stressful. This shows you care and helps build a supportive environment. Navigating family relationships can be complex, but with effort and understanding, you can build strong, trusting connections. Remember to communicate openly. Listen actively and recognise both your needs and the needs of your family members. By setting boundaries in toxic relationships, resolving conflicts calmly, and practising empathy, you can create a healthier family dynamic. With these tools, you can foster a loving environment where everyone feels valued and understood. So that's it for this episode. I hope you found it of some benefit. And don't forget to check out my website, yeshirabge.com or follow me on Instagram at yeshi underscore rabge. So, until the next time, bye for now.